They may be able to stop us from going on land, but they can't stop us from anchoring. Holy crap, they picked a beautiful spot. So those guys, the National Park authorities just kicked us out of here. Lena's leaving. She's got a job on a super yacht. Super sad. Or maybe it doesn't show, but inside it feels a bit different. But we've got two new crew coming, so stick around for that. Hurricane Irma boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Alrighty, a few of the crew are still snorkeling, but we've got quite a lot of sailing to do today. We've got to go check out one spot um, at the top end of Koiba and then head back to Santa Catalina because tomorrow morning there's swell, so we want to go surfing. So, we're just going to pick up the anchor and just mosey on over to where uh, the guys are snorkeling, pick them up there and carry on. No wind, unfortunately. The resort place said we weren't allowed on the island. Couldn't get a tour. So we're just gonna head out. They may be able to stop us from going on land, but they can't stop us from anchoring because they don't own the ocean. Oh. It's snorkeling. What do you got on your face? What? Other what? side. What is it? Feel it. Yeah. What is it? I don't know what that could be. You done an oil change somewhere? I was <laughs> <laughs> Have you done an oil change somewhere? Should we go to the next beach? High Stonehenge. So on the 31st of the month, we've been asked by a film crew to bring them out to this island here. I've never been here before. It's, there's no anchorage marked here on the charts or anything. Um, we're just coming up to it now and it looks absolutely stunning. So I can kind of see why they want to do it here. But we, we've come here to just check it out and see if it's actually possible to anchor there um, and for them to do some filming. There's like 18 of them coming. Um, it's for Panama tourism or something like that. So I guess there's not too many boats cruising around here. So uh, Blake and Brittany actually gave them my number on the beach because they were asking about a boat that could take them out here. So let's see what it's like. On the charts, it's marked as just three little dots. There's no depths or anything around it, so badly charted. So I'm gonna come up with extreme caution, nice and slow, and we'll see if we can drop the anchor somewhere near the island here. Beautiful little beach on that island just there. Just creeping forward. It's about 10 feet of water. Do you want to go on this sand? Yeah. It definitely shallows up there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go for it. We're on the sand, but yeah, it's reef here. Holy crap, they picked a beautiful spot. We're in 10 feet of water here. Uh, the tide's still got to come out for another hour, so I'll just keep an eye on that depth but looks to me like a pretty ideal place to be filming. Epic. Just gonna have a quick lunch. I'll fly the drone here just to send them some shots of... So those guys, the... National Park authorities just kicked us out of here. Said we're not allowed to anchor anywhere around this island. Must be super protected or something. So that's, I'm glad we came and did this because the people who want to come film here have no idea about that rule. So, 
guess that's guess that's that. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. you might have to slow down. There we go. <laughs> As we left the National Park, the fishing rods came back out, but we had a real malfunction. Yeah. coming. Ah, uh, yeah, dog food. And caught dinner for the dogs, as we don't really like the taste of these guys much. Good job, good job. Not you. Good job. Again. <laughs> Good job. Oh. Hoo -ah. Good job. Stop. Stop means stop, okay? We're back in Santa Catalina. Surf comes tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock. We're going out there. Probably won't take a camera because we just like to enjoy the surf a little bit. But one day we will, I promise. Um, Saturday, exciting day and a sad day. Lena's leaving. She's got a job on a super yacht. She is going to Fort Lauderdale. But we've got two new crew coming, so stick around for that. Super sad. Maybe it doesn't show, but inside it feels a bit different. And it's been pretty amazing. And like, just coming and going now, like so many times, really I had, had time to like, get to know the boat, pun with the guy, Jamie and Colin. So yeah, it's really starting to feel like a family already, you know, like the home away from home. To be able to meet so many different people from all over the place and everybody being so fun and helpful and being there for each other and always coming up with like crazy new fun things to do and just sail and just live our best lives, you know, the, the kind of life that where we're all happy and just feel good about life in general and use all the world has to offer. And I think we have such a good opportunity sailing around on Palais to be able to do that. And there is nothing better than living on a boat and just sailing around and enjoying the nature, enjoying the world and enjoying the people that surround you and support you in that journey. Uh, I wanted to say a big thank you for everyone making such a great experience that I've had of all that we all had together and it's not even going to be a real goodbye because I'm already thinking when I can get some time off from work so I can come back home again and have another amazing trip with everyone. Hi. See you tomorrow. So we're actually going to see Lena again tomorrow night and the next night her and uh, Jamie have just decided to go get a uh, hotel room for a couple of nights before she leaves it's cute all right Tom are you ready for a workout it's a race back to the boat why Swap dogs. I don't want to hear it. Fly. Good boy. Ooh. Fly. Go that one. Fly. Fly. Good boy. Far out. It's a long way. We'll have to pace ourselves. Do you reckon it's better fast strokes or or technique long and slow? No idea. Maybe we'll have it dialed in by the time we get there. Ready? Go. <laughs> Come on, Linda. We got this. Neck and neck so far. Oh, he's cut me off. Dirty. Shit. About halfway. So the stamina kicks in. What a workout. First one to touch parlay. This is where it counts. He's looking there. Talk about close race. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Look at him, he keeps paddling into me. Dirty tactics. What? Full cut off. That's not good. That's not good. Come on, McRae. Coming in hot. Ah. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Hey guys, so we've got a new crew coming today. Her name is Kelly and she is from New Zealand. You! We try to really get to know the person before they come on the boat. But in this situation, she just happened to be here in Panama. We're about to go out to Koiba and the national park where there's no reception. So we weren't really able to get to know her a little bit. So this is going to be quite an interesting one. She's going to come on for a, for a week or so and just see if she likes it, see if we all get along. And if it doesn't work out, that's fine as well. There's no, uh, there's no pressure. It's a small environment living on a boat and everyone really has to get along well. But I got a good feeling about this one. Let's go pick her up. to hear another Kiwi accent. Oh, this is a decent one. We're gonna make it though. Here we go. Yeah, these guys are. That's Lindo. That's the fly. Rock in the pile, eh? <laughs> Thank you. So this is Kelly. Hello. She's from New Zealand. How old are you? I'm 26. And what brings you to Parley? Um, I was in Panama and saw that Parley was also in Panama at the time, so I thought I'd reach out and see what you guys are up to. And Colin welcomed me aboard. <laughs> what are you What are you looking to get out of this trip? Um, I've been wanting to learn to sail for a while. Um, I'm pretty keen to get um, some surfing in. Um, yeah, just love the love the boat life and see if I like it. There so you fun. go. Kelly, ladies and gentlemen, Good should be sticking dolphins. around for a little while. <laughs> Probably come up to Costa Rica. Yeah. Take it from there. You got to be somewhere soon. I am gonna probably head back to Europe, UK-wise, for a little bit. To do what? Um, I'm a radiographer um, normally, so do X-rays and things like that. So go make some more money and then go off. <laughs> Maybe I'll join another boat after that. <laughs> back keep, to Parle. Living the dream. <laughs> Later that day, we welcome Blake's Hello. girlfriend on board with us. Hi. Got another cr new crew member. Hola, Sarah. Hi. Hola. How are you? Colin, right? See. Si. We never you? actually got properly introduced. Good to have you on board. Thank you for having me. Make Blake happy. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sara here is actually a chef, and she just learnt what a galley is. Never heard of this before. It's <laughs> a galley. You're in the galley. It's a kitchen. It's a galley. There you go. We're already <laughs> learning things. Um, what's it going to be like cooking in this galley? Well, I'm actually pretty excited because I am a private chef, and normally I do retreats and wellness events, and normally they are on like villas or like beautiful destinations and tropical locations. But I've never cooked on a boat before, and I think that there's a lot of different and new dynamics that I would love to learn more about. For sure. And you're Blake's girlfriend. You must be happy to be here, Blake. I'm super happy. Stoked. It's my first time like sailing like on a long term. Yeah. So I think that there's a lot to before? learn. Not really. I don't know really anything about I've sailed with friends, but like for a weekend or yeah. something short, but never like weeks at a time or months at a time. So I think there's a lot to learn. Cool. <laughs> there we go. If Blake's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> What's one of our favorite things to do? Beach barbie. Beach barbecue, baby! What's the procedure? Fill the cooler and empty it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the grill. Thanks, Raimundo. Got some spuds. And some oil. Chicken! Wanna go to the beach? <laughs> There's quite a bit of work setting up for a beach barbecue for <laughs> nine people but it's so worth it make a little fire we'll show you but nothing better i reckon cooking a cooking a meal over a hot fire on a white sandy beach surrounded by coconut trees in the pacific ocean we're very lucky guys very lucky get a bitch good job the big dog. Look at it like. <laughs> About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life
life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for oh. take my hand we'll make it somehow we can't miss out oh. i'm done living life with the lights out Have a look in. Sizzling away. No, 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 no. Okay. Now, now I'm holding the rest with this one. How many can we save? Oh, good save. Oh, shit. No. No. Oh, my goodness. Look at the sausage. Need a good clean. Nothing to see here. <laughs> yeah. Just Tom scrubbing a sausage. It's not a beach barbecue without a fucking salty <laughs> sausage. <laughs> or a sandy sausage. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> Why is your head shining? <laughs> I'm sending it to a fire. How's the food? Fucking good. Real good. Yeah, one of the best ones yet. That's good. What do you got? Oh, oh paper just, down. Just a <laughs> We're like savages. <laughs> this is how we do a barbecue on the beach. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, nothing better. Oh, no forks, no knives, no plates, no washing up. Be free, be free. Love it.